Hi everybody, it's Rita. So I am going to do a um, Bible journaling page with you guys. I've been doing it, but I have been doing it in my, my daily gratitude journal. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Well, that's my mother in law, if you guys don't know. <laughs> Love that lady. Alright, so yeah, I've just been doing um um journaling in my um daily journal. Well, you know, like decorating your pages and stuff. So I never really bought kits to um do my journaling, so I actually bought a kit. And see I just changed the page I mean change the colors and I use um gelettos and I just really have fun when I write to the Lord. Um I use um can you see this? I use um, ribbons, I mean, um, yarn, ribbons, stickers, colorful pins, um, paint, gelettos. I just, you know, I, I have fun when I write to the Lord. And I just decorate it with little fun little things. Washi tape, stickers, you know, um, just different little things. And that makes it really, really, really fun for me. So yeah, I just want to give you a quick show of how I journal. You see, I just add little cards and just different things to make it fun. And I pray for people, you know, just different little things. Just to make it fun and, you know, makes me want to actually just sit down and just have fun with the Lord. And, you know, just express myself cre creatively. So yeah, just gave you a flip through of that. And it's just a regular journal. This is my old one. Um, this is my new one. I hadn't really decorated it too much because I've been wanting to. See, I hadn't really decorated it too much. I got some little things in there, but not as much as my other, my um, previous one. So, yeah, that's this is the one I'm working in now. And this is my old one. All right, so I am going to actually journal in my Bible. I've been wanting to do this. I have bought the books for it. And see, these are some of the books I'm going to be using to. I've been reading up on it. And, you know, I'm going to start journaling in my Bible. And I'm still going to do my writing daily. So this, these books just show you different and fun ways to, you know, spend time in the Word and make it fun and, you know, relaxing and different things. So yeah, I'm not going to talk too much because I want to get into showing you guys this um, journal entry I'm going to do. So I hope it don't be too long and I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah. And this journal entry is going to be coming from Mark 5, chapter 5, verses 13 through 6. I should have. I, I didn't want to highlight or do anything until I was on camera so you can see the process I'm going to um, do. And this is going to be my first Bible entry on camera. So if I make a mistake, y'all count it for love. I'm, I'm just, this is my first time doing a tutorial live. Well, not live, but you know, on camera to share with everybody. So, all right. Um, like I said, and, and this printable have different, um, scriptures you can reference but I'm choosing to use five mark Matthew 5 13 through 6 <clears throat> and you can also you know go back and do these other ones if you would like but for right now I don't like I said I don't want the video to be too long I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna go with Mark 5 13 through 16 and I'm just gonna read it and I'm gonna highlight it as well all right I thought it was on the page mark 5 13. Yeah, 13 through 16. Salt and light. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city, a city set on a high on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a stand and it gives light to all in the house in the same way let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory 
to your Father who is in heaven. So that is Matthew 5 through 16. What I am going to do, I'm not going to highlight. I am going to use my Micron 0 0.2 pen and I'm just going to underline it because the paper, the sticker paper that I used is a clear sticker paper. Um, so I don't want the highlighted colors to show through the clear at, um, sticker paper. So that's why I'm choosing to just highlight um, the scripture with this um, micron pen. And I'm going to date it. I always date things. Um, I just feel better about dating it. And, you know, just for reference from, from me. Um, the date is the 24th, I think. Is it 24th or 25th? And I've been writing the date all day long, y'all. It's the 25th. Yeah, it is. Girl, I ain't about crazy. I don't even remember the date. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to use this downloadable um, sticker. I printed this um, downloadable out on sticker paper. If I can just, where did I put it at? It's here. All right, I printed it out on Avery's um, 865 sticker paper. All right, should I put that back? And so, okay, let's see here. My friend, y'all got excuse me. I got my house coat on. Everybody who know me knows when I get home from work, I like just go ahead and get comfortable, do what I gotta do, cause I am an early bird when it comes to um, going to bed early. So. I'm just gonna cut. I want to use this girl, so I'm just gonna cut her out. I'm not sure which verses of these I want to use, but I'm thinking to just cut her out first, and that, and then I would know how I want to, um, where I want to lay the verses. And I'm gonna try to go fast, guys, because I know you guys don't want to be here all night. Um, yeah, but I thought that this would be so fun for you guys to see <clears throat> me and how I actually journal. And the only difference is this time I um, purchased um, a downloadable image from um, Print, Pray, Slay. I purchased this um, digital in image images from her her shop because usually I just use like stickers and different things like that and stickers are fun too but sometimes you know you just want to change it up a bit and that's just what I want to do I just want to change it up a little bit um, but I do believe next time well like next time that I do this you guys I will um, I will pre um, cut the images out so that way the video won't be too long you know, because I know you guys got things to do, but I just want to do something different. I am going to do my scripture writing for today, so don't think you're getting away from that. <laughs> yeah, but I enjoy journaling with Christ. You know, everybody has their own way of spending their time, their quality time with him. And nobody can say any, way, any person's way is wrong and how they choose to spend their quiet time time with God you know some people just maybe want to sit in the park and just read a book I mean not read a book but just sit in the park and just you know count the the turtle I mean just do any you know just just sit in the park and relax I guess and you know you know you don't know if that person is talking to God or what that you know what I'm saying but that could be their way of just sitting and just sitting in the park and just spending time with 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 God so, yeah, that's their way of spending time with God. And this is my way. This is what I enjoy doing. Because he wants our time to be with him. We don't. He don't want us to do it like, oh, man, let me go read my Bible. He don't want us to be like that. I feel he do not want us to be like that. And I am not the holiest than thou person. People who know me know I mess up every day. But at the same time, yeah, I mess up. But at the same time, I am trying to build a better relationship with my Lord and Savior. Because he know we ain't perfect. But as long as you, you try, I believe, you know, he understands.
So where do I want to put this, you guys? Where should I where should I put her with her yellow um raincoat? And it says half salt mark. Oh, oh, she said this one says mark nine five. Not I mean mark nine five oh. Maybe I should have used it in mark. But anyway, I done cut her out, y'all. So she going right here. You know, she gonna go right here. Yep. She can go right there. You know, so in Bible journal, you don't have to be perfect, you know. That's where she's going. Even though her, we well, can't even really see what it says in the back of her raincoat. But yeah, I put her right there. And I want to put this sticker, Matthew 5, 13. And I ain't framed y'all because, you know, I just be all over the place. I want to use this Matthew um, 5, 6. 5 13 16 I want to use that as well yeah so cut this out and let's see I think I'm going to put this sticker sometimes with the sticker paper um, the back is cut on like an angle um, so sometimes you just have to um, fold your edge in I mean fold the image in a little bit just to get the back end off. So, yeah. I'm going to use my tweezers to just help me grab it. I mean, grip it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this. Where do I want to put this? I want to put this. I think I'm going to put it. Mm, see how much fun it is, you guys? <laughs> Trying to figure out where you want to place things. Uh, where do I want to put you at? Where do I want to put you at? Uh, uh, I think I'm going to, you know what? I'm just going to put her, I mean, put this sticker right here. Right there under her, her dress. All right, and I want to use, let's see. I think I want to use salt of the earth so what does um, this scripture say to you um, how does it speak to you to me like I said I'm, I'm a new her a newbie as they call them in Christ I don't know everything there is to know no I don't do nothing perfect you know I don't know everything so and I don't even know a little bit I'm just gonna be honest I don't but I'm trying every day though you know to stay in the bible and to learn you know so it's like um you're a, a baby i have heard a lot of people say that when you are in christ when you're just you know starting out in christ you're like a baby you know you you learn every day so i'm a baby in christ i'm trying to learn and I know I keep saying, you guys probably are tired of me saying that, you know, I get stuff wrong. I fall every day. But you know what? I get right on back up and try it again. So I'm going to put this sticker. I'm going to put that right there. And it just says salt of the earth. All right. So you guys, how's that looking? Try not to be too long, y'all. But I am having so much fun just doing this um let's see what else I want to use I think that I want to use this saying it says you are the salt of the earth but if the salt loses its saltiness how can it be made salty again it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot so you guys I think I'm going to use that do I want to use these big scissors? You know what? I keep using the scissors I've been using. So, yeah, I'm going to use this coat. And the good thing is, you know, if you don't want to use all your stickers, you can also... I mean, if you don't want to use all your stickers on this Bible entry in your um, Bible, you can use it in your journal, like... Say, for instance, I want to, you know, just when I talk to God in my um, 
Bible journal and I want to just, you know, throw in um, what I had um, Bible journal today. I can just get a um, one of these little stickers and just put it in my um, Bible journal tonight and just talk a little bit about, you know, this scripture that I read and how I understand it. You know? So, yeah, I'm just going to peel the back off y'all I hope I'm in frame because like I said this is my first time doing a a tutorial and I think I'm going to put this like right right over here someplace and so that's a good thing about using these see these see-through um this see-through sticker paper you can just Lay it anywhere and you can see still the Bible scripture underneath. So how's that looking, guys? So yeah. Um and you know, I think um I'm about done. And look at all these stickers I still have to use. Like I said, I can use these and other sorry. I can use these in my um journal or I can use them at another time or I can use them interchangeably with different um bible journaling I want to do later I don't know if I told you guys but this is a um journaling bible it's an interleave edition it's made by crossway and my understanding what I believe interleave mean is that each page between each page is a empty page so that you can journal on this page as well as well as on the sides because you don't really have a large margin so they um, put these blank pages between each page in the book so yeah so I really like this and I just didn't want to use this page because I just wanted to use since it was on this side I wanted to journal on this side of the page if that makes any sense you guys but yeah so this is my first bible journal journaling entry um the reason i did not put it in my bible i use every day um my inspire bible um i don't know this is by tendo i didn't put it in this i didn't journal in this bible because this inspired Bible, it has um, images on some of the um, on some of the margins of the book, so that's on the Bible. So that's why I didn't want to use this Bible because some pages have um, art on either side. Sorry, of the page, and then the other side, you know, it'd be a general spot. So that's why I didn't use this Bible. This is like a coloring Bible. So yeah, so that's why I didn't use my Inspire Bible. I wanted to use my um, journaling Bible. But there is a journaling Bible that I would love to purchase. And it is by um, Illustrated Faith. It's $135. It's a real huge Bible. Um, and it's spiral bound. So um, I'm thinking about asking my family to get me that for Mother's Day. I'm not sure yet. So you go, you know what? I'm going to let you guys go because I will talk and talk and talk. Um... Just let me know how you liked it, liked it, me doing this um, Bible journaling, I mean, Bible journaling entry. All right. So, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, you guys. Good night.